$9,000 has arrived. And it's gone. Let's talk about it. <laughs> I filmed this chart yesterday. I've not touched it since. We talked about how we're in a rising trend. The video yesterday was around this point, not long before this move happened. Bitcoin banged its head at the top of this wedge. Nearly 9,100 before coming down. The candle stopping right at the end of the wedge before falling out of it. So far, Bitcoin has found support at this level of around 8,200. And in the grand scheme of things, that's actually not bad at all. I mean, if you do look at the uh, the most extreme, so let's say top of that wick to the bottom of that one, and you're looking at a 12% dip, but realistically, we went from what, around here to around there, about four to 5% move. In light of all the overextended indicators, which we did talk about in yesterday's video, that's not bad at all, really. If the pullback does continue, we should be looking for support, let's say at around the 30 day moving average, which would be just about a $7,500 Bitcoin. Why the 30 day moving average? Science. Yeah, Mr. White. Yes, yeah, science. <laughs> I think people's bullish enthusiasm will remain until at least that level is broken. And I still do stand by everything I said in yesterday's video. It is just as relevant, if not even more so today. We looked at a lot of altcoins that look oversold, judging by their charts. Recommend you check it out if you haven't already. The only thing it depends on is if the Bitcoin dominance continues to be in a downtrend, which it looks like it could be, but obviously we don't know for sure. And assuming that crypto as a whole doesn't dump any further, of course. One coin I must add, pun intended, to the list of coins that we talked about yesterday would definitely be basic attention token. My goodness, and perhaps one of the most crazily bullish news stories I've heard to date. Google to restrict ad blockers in Chrome. Google Chrome is planning on curbing the use of ad blocking extensions, limiting them to only enterprise customers. Google confirmed the move in an online forum. Still not quite the confirmation we would hope for, but uh, if true, then Google just gave 2 billion people or users of Google Chrome a major incentive to switch to the Brave browser. And the Brave browser doesn't use an, an extension to block ads, it's natively built in. Adoption is coming. <laughs> But I do want to clarify again, probably the most important bit from yesterday's video. So where do you put your profits then if you are looking to uh, trade off of this information? Well, for the most part, I can't recommend trading. There's too many people lose money doing it. It's irresponsible to promote it. Maybe it's with that in mind that this post hit me so hard today. It's called I Lost Everything and it's on our cryptocurrency. It's a story about a guy who accumulated crypto throughout all of 2018, bought too much, uh, bought more than he could afford to lose and then lost it all recently through leverage trading on BitMEX. Now talks about having suicidal thoughts and wanting to end his life. If the author happens to be watching this video, first of all, thank you for sharing what was no doubt a very difficult story to do. Second, please don't. I know it might sound ridiculous right now, but if you can make it through this, then you can have confidence in yourself that you can make it through anything. And if you, if you can make it through this, and I'm sure you can, the amount of resilience that you didn't even know you were capable of can and will make you proud of yourself. As crazy as that might sound right now. <sighs> I do want to share this as a warning though. Be careful. There's plenty of people who promote leverage training, but ask yourself if they would if they didn't make good money from you, use, you using their affiliate link. I think if they were even half responsible, the answer would be no. It's playing with fire and the liquidation rate is very high on these platforms. Sadly, I think it's about to get a lot worse for uh, people with uh, Coinbase possibly entering the leverage trading space soon. And of course, we know Binance as well. <sighs> anyway, lastly, um, CME Bitcoin futures contracts are set to expire in uh, four hours as of recording this video. It is set to be the biggest futures expiry ever. How these paper contracts, how they affect the price of Bitcoin is dubious to me. They are, they're traded in actual, they're not traded in actual Bitcoin, but suffice it to say, historically, prices have fluctuated when these contracts have expired. So if there is to be some turbulence today, which I'm not convinced there will be, but if there is, it would tend to have a bearish bias right now. Anyway, thank you for watching. Just a quick update from me. Check out my video yesterday if you didn't. Appreciate you watching. Bye for now.